so 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 hold on listen to this he just said he's not killing an un- unborn child so a fetus is scientifically and factually an unborn child if you don't kill the fetus the child will be born All right, guys. So today we got another one with Jesse Lee Peterson, and today he's gonna be. I'm look. I'm checking out a video that I, I saw. Um, I, I watched this whole video, but this is a video. They had a pretty interesting conversation at the beginning of this video that I wanted to talk about, and uh, th- he's having a conversation with a abortionist, a Planned Parenthood, a plant. Pa- the, so the title of the video was Planned Parenthood Loving Abortionist. Is it a life? So. It, so I want you to check out the beginning of this. I'm going to leave a full video in, in the description so you can go to it and watch it if you want to. But let's check out the beginning of this video. And uh, I want to give my commentary on uh, what they're talking about. So let's check it out. is still one of the most divisive issues in America today. I have with me Dr. Willie Parker and OBGYN specializing in abortions. He's also the author of Life's Work, A Moral Argument for Choice. Dr. Parker has been featured in Esquire, NPR, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Newsweek, and more. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. What made you decide, you know what? I'm gonna do abortions. Somebody once said, when you wrestle with your conscience and you lose, you actually win. And for me, uh, that wrestling with conscience started about 14 years ago. The reality is that one in three women in this country by the time they're age 45 will have an abortion. Amazing. And it's the most common uh, health care procedure that is offered. It's also one of the safest, but it's also one of the most. First of all, that's a tragedy. If that's the most common uh, procedure or so-called health care procedure that women get, that's a tragedy. That's a lot of babies dying. So I, I don't think, I, don't, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't brag about that. Most controversial because it is a decision that is unique to women. My awareness as a physician of what happens to women when that care is not available uh, convicted me around uh, what it meant to be a woman's health care provider and to be a Christian, which ultimately led me to conclude that there was nothing doctrinally or specific about abortion in sacred texts, whichever one you're talking about nor was there anything that prohibited women from having control over their lives and their bodies to make the same decisions that men are entitled to make as moral agents. That's amazing. Um, how is abortion amazing. a health care procedure? So when uh, a woman has a pregnancy that uh, affects her health or that she decides to end, if she doesn't have an opportunity to end it safely, anything that risks or ends your, uh, that uh, poses a risk to your health is a health care issue. Uh, but it's not a health care issue for, I mean, it's a health care issue for the baby, the unborn child, and that you're killing the baby. So I don't know how that is a health care issue for the child. Well, you, you know, the, so right. one of the things that when people describe abortion that way, uh, the way no I look way. at uh, of calling abortion murder or they call a developing pregnancy a baby, what they're talking so so already you can see that the deception that these people love to use they love to change words they love to uh uh use different words that means the same thing so they'll say uh uh they'll call it the uh the term or the termination of a pregnancy so what is the a termination of a pregnancy if you're terminating a fetus aka a baby's life that is in fact murder is it, it, it doesn't matter if you say I'm terminating the pregnancy. It means the same thing as you're killing the baby. So it's, it's just a, a, a link, a linguistic, uh, um, it's like a, a, a fast one. They trying to pull. You, you know, the, so one of the things that when people describe abortion that way, uh, the way no I way. look at, uh, of calling abortion murder, or they call a developing pregnancy, a baby, what they're telling me is that they have a certain understanding about what a baby is or about what they think healthcare is. If we're going to be precise in our language, baby is a cultural term, it's not a scientific or a medical term. 
and before you're not a baby before you're born. You're entitled to say that you don't believe that women should have abortion. But because of our laws, you're not entitled to block a woman from having an abortion. How about you're not allowed to kill innocent life? How, how about you're not allowed to kill innocent human life? How about that? That that should be the standard. I don't care your whole your different definitions you want to you want to uh, come up with or say. I don't respect your uh, your. I don't respect any anything that you're about. So it doesn't matter what definitions or what words you use to try to justify what you're doing. You're in fact murdering a a child, and that should be illegal. And you're not entitled to force a woman to agree with your but definition. Aren't you taking a life inside uh, the, the womb? Aren't you taking I a am life? Actually, actually, a pregnancy, when you do an abortion, yes, a pregnancy does end a life. So but you, does it so end a person? Are, so you are killing yes, a it ends unborn a person child life. if you're taking a life. You're not taking the life of an animal. You're not taking the life of the woman, so you're taking the life of a child. Your, isn't, that, isn't that right? I, uh, I disagree with you. I but understand you are what you're killing, saying. You are killing an unborn child, right? Uh, I'm not killing an unborn child. You're taking I'm the life of an unborn child. Listen, you're not killing an unborn child. So, 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 hold on. Listen to this. He just said he's not killing an un unborn child. So, a fetus is scientifically and factually an unborn child. If you don't kill the fetus, the child will be born, unless it's some kind of uh, complications with the pregnancy. But if you don't kill the fetus, the child will be born. So you are, you are in fact, killing an unborn child. So this guy is supposed to be like some kind of uh, highly educated, intelligent person. And he and he's this stupid. This is why just because you, you're, you're, you go to college or have all these degrees, I don't mean you're smart. Most of these people are idiots. Isn't that, isn't that right? I, uh, I disagree with you. I well, understand you are what you're killing, saying. You are killing an unborn child, right? Uh, I'm not killing an unborn child. You're taking I'm the life of an unborn child. I'm ending a pregnancy. But does that require you to take the life of the child that's in the woman's womb? I don't define a pregnancy as a child. And I'm, like, like does I said, it have a life? Uh, is it a living it is a living entity. It right. is a life. It so is a human being because women don't have puppies, sure. but it is not a baby. And if it were a baby, uh, this whole, I'm so, sorry for pausing, but this whole thing is so stupid. So if I go outside and shoot somebody in the head and the cops arrest me and they, and they, and I, and I go on trial for, for murdering somebody, if, if I'm on trial and I say, I didn't murder him, I just, uh, I just terminated his life. You think that's going to work in, in a court of law? No, it wouldn't because it's the same thing. It doesn't matter what what you say, uh, what word you use. You still end the life of a of an innocent human. Maybe it would be a person, correct? So well, let me is, let me finish. So the reality not, is, you are taking a life. So that do, true or not? do do you want to have a dialogue, yeah, or do you want you want to? You want to let me ask, answer your question, or do you want to answer my question? Answer the question about okay. are you taking a life? Okay. Yes, an abortion ends a life. Now, what I asked you was, you're saying a pregnancy is a baby, right? It's an unborn child. It's an unborn child, okay. Yes. So if I kill a child, that's murder, right? You mean one that's If born, I kill a child, or, yes. you say, okay. So if I'm killing a child, if I'm doing an abortion in an abortion clinic, if you call the police, will they come and arrest me? They won't because Why? of the law. Why? But that still what doesn't does take the law away, say? that still doesn't take away the fact that you're taking a life and we both agree that you are taking a life correct do you hold on so just for a minute uh listen to the argument he just made he said because basically because the law allows it and because the law doesn't see um this procedure as murder that that makes it right so i mean i'm sure this guy would also um disagree with slavery that was legal i'm sure this guy also would disagree with all, all the 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 past things in this country and in, in other countries that was legal but morally wrong. So that's not a good argument. Just because the law says it's okay or just because the law um, uh, protect the people from from killing innocent babies in a womb, that does not mean it's okay. That, does, that doesn't mean it's okay and that doesn't mean it's moral to do. So that's, that's a bad argument off the bat. You believe that human beings are in a fallen state 
No. You do not, and I why know. not? Because I think that uh, it requires a biblical literalism, and it requires an understanding that says that everybody is immoral. All right, so yeah, that's, that's basically the part I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about um, the abortion part. So yeah, again, this guy made no good arguments for abortion because there's no good arguments that could be made. Um, about like 98 eight percent or some crazy majority it's like 98 is 90 plus percent i think it's like 98 percent of abortions are just out of convenience is is the whole if the woman was raped thing or if it was incest that is such a uh a, a minority of abortions that is no way you should be making laws off of that um, and even in them cases, even in the case of rape, I still don't agree with abortion. I agree. I, I would say that the, the father or, or the, the rapist should be killed or castrated. Um, uh, but that still doesn't give, um, the woman the right to kill a unborn child. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.